everyone, and welcome to The Propcast. My name is Louisa Dickens, co-founder of LMR Ray and board director of the UKPA, and I shall be your weekly host. Each week for 30 minutes, we'll be connecting the VCs, prop tech startups, and real estate professionals globally, and assist in bridging that famous communication gap we all love talking about. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the PropCast. Today, we will be speaking with Sahil Gupta, founder of Nera, which has previously patched homes, about navigating home ownership and understanding value. So welcome to the show. Well, thank you for having me here. It's great to be chatting with you today. Now, let's give a little bit of color to Sahil and give you a bit of background to how we got to where we are today. So Sahil founded Nera in 2016. Nera partners with homeowners to unlock the value of home ownership to live the lives they aspire to. Now, Nora is redefining traditional finance products by offering home equity financing without the burden of debt or additional monthly payments. So he'll cultivate the passion for solving financial challenges for consumers by working in product development and strategy at Motif Investing, Slice and Mellon Capital, a $400 billion investment firm managing investments for large pensions and endowments. He holds a master's in computational finance from Carnegie Mellon's Tepper School of Business and a bachelor's in electronics engineering. So thank you for joining us today. Now, let's get started hearing a bit more about your journey. So lots of people are listening are listening from different industries, whether it's property, finance, other technology sectors. You started off in finance. How have you found yourself working in real estate technology? Yes. Uh, no, that, that's a great question, right? I actually started my career on Wall Street in February of 2008. And, you know, depending on which way you look at it, it was either the best time or the worst time in financial services. And what I saw within my first 30 days on the desk was kind of say Lehman, uh, you know, was Bear Stearns go down. And then within my first six months, I saw Lehman Brothers fail, which was an iconic financial institution. But the thing that struck me the most, you know, was that, that post the financial crisis, Wall Street emerged relatively unscathed, but the lifetime savings and housing wealth for millions of like, Americans just evaporated and it never came back actually. So you know, that experience ultimately drove me to say, there has to be a better way for people to manage their finances. There has to be a better future, I think for financial services and real estate as an industry. And I left my job at BNY Mellon and I joined this company called Motif Investing. Mm. You know, and Motif was a startup that was empowering everyday investors with the tools and a platform that was normally reserved for the, you know, for the top 1% of investors. And as a venture-backed company at Motif, we raised over $130 million from say, Goldman Sachs, from JP Morgan, from Foundation Capital. Mm. And being part of the early team, I helped build a platform that ultimately say, democratized investing for millions of retail investors and helping them invest like, like professional Wall Street does. You know, and I say through that journey, I saw the biggest secret in US consumer finance, and that is see, most consumers are house rich but cash poor. Mm. And now what does that mean to be house rich cash poor, right? Like what that means is, for majority of Americans, 80% of their wealth is locked up in their home equity. And as a result of which, because of their personal debt and a lack of wage growth, they struggle for cash flow, they struggle for affordability, and they don't have any savings. And this is the single biggest challenge that is facing a generation of US homeowners today. And in order to solve that problem, you can't just offer them another mortgage. You can't offer them another home equity loan because that is like say robbing Peter from one hand to pay Paul with the other hand, right? You kind of have to attack the problem at its core. And for us, that meant we needed to make home equity access that much more easy, that much more affordable, and that much more debt-free. And that is why we started NOAA. NOAA as a company is built for like homeowners who are house switch cash poor. And the way we help them is we allow these homeowners to access their hard-earned equity 
without any interest or without any monthly payment. And in exchange for that capital, we take a portion of the future value of the home, essentially. Okay. So this is, this is a form of equity-based investing or partnership-based investing that aligns the financial interest of both the consumer and NOAA as the investor. Okay, I've got it. So your customer could be sort of what any, every man or woman, the standard homeowner? Absolutely. So as long as you were a homeowner, you know, NOAA works with them. And over the past two years, we've seen, you know, more than a 10x growth in the number of homeowners and the number of places we serve all across the U.S. And our customers range everyone from a 33-year-old tech employee who has a newborn baby and wants to do some home improvements to expand his home mm-hmm. to a 70, 80-year-old retired woman who's struggling because she doesn't have a lot of current income and is using her home equity to plan for retirement and life after that as well. So we, like our homeowners, they run the spectrum across age and across demographic. But the common thing across all of them is they have anywhere from 50000 to a few hundred thousand dollars in home equity and are looking to access that equity in an easy, affordable manner. Mm. The biggest benefit, actually, outside of access to equity that NOAA also provides is is the monthly savings, right? So when you choose NOAA as compared to a home equity loan or a HELOC, our customers today are saving an average of $1,500 a month. That's a lot. Because, exactly, right? Because that's the payment you don't have to make. Until date, homeowners have accessed more than $30 million from our platform. And on top of accessing that $30 million, they've built an extra $10 million plus of home equity wealth after partnering with NOAA. So it's really about having a true impact on the financial lives and on the bottom line for everyday Americans. So what would you say your big USPs in the market are then? There's a couple of products out. Yours is obviously fairly developed. Well, well, yeah, what are your sort of main sort of selling points of it, your top three things which differentiates your product? Absolutely, right? I think so one of, you know, I saw an article the other day that was comparing, uh, I think, Noah with a couple of other kind of, you know, similar solutions in the mm. industry. Like, and what they said is, Noah makes it the easiest across the industry to access your home equity in 15 days or less. You know, and these are not so my words. These are words in the article, which I was actually <laughs> sure happy. they're not. <laughs> you know, well, I'm more than happy to send these only <laughs> <Joking>. <laughs> But the, the thing that we believe, right? So life is stressful, right? And most homeowners are already struggling with cash flow, struggling with life, especially these days with the impact of COVID-19. Our job as a partner is to make it very easy to qualify. So on the NOAA platform, it takes you 60 seconds or less to qualify. And it takes you less than 15 days to get access to your money. So that's one value prop. I think that the second thing is we understand that life happens, which is why we don't hold you to a certain FICO score or debt to income ratios and other things. So we don't use the traditional metrics Mm. that a lot of banks and lenders use. We actually use a more holistic underwriting platform that looks at not just your aggregate financial profile, but also looks at your asset, your home, and your Mm -hmm. home equity profile. And the combination of the two things allows us to give you the best pricing terms in the industry. And finally, I think to us, homeownership is not a transaction, right? It's a journey. The average American today stays in their home anywhere from six to 10 years, right? Mm. And we think Noah was built to be a partner across that journey in good times and in bad. Yeah. And that is why uh, we, when we partner with you, you get access to the Noah Homeowner Protection Program. Now, what that is, is we are the only ones in the, in the industry who do this, right? Where after the initial investment, if you face financial hardship, where you are unable to pay your mortgage or property taxes or the job loss, Noah will provide you with additional capital to pay your mortgage, to protect your home and to protect your family. And even that money has no monthly payments. NOAA also gives you access to what we call as the NOAA dashboard, which is a centralized portal for you to manage the entire wealth and services for your home. So at the end of the day, right, you really have to think of NOAA as a digital home advisor 
who is there 24 seven working for you in the background. And I believe that is what truly differentiates us from a couple of other companies in the space who have, who have offerings that may be, you know, deemed comparable. Yeah. So quite like a holistic sort of platform. Exactly. The different parts of the business you've just gone over. It's almost like you offer a bit of like of an insurance product. What, what other sort of partnerships do you look for with maybe other external businesses or technologies? Yes. So for us, right, the foundation of our business is a partnership at the end of the day. You know, we partner with homeowners, as I mentioned. Like, and on that side, it is all about giving them access to capital, so reducing their monthly payments and being there for them. Uh, so when we look at additional partnerships outside of the core offering, the first thing we are looking for is, is the company have a similar thesis to us in terms of helping consumers, helping homeowners day in, day out, right? And a couple of things that come to mind, the first is insurance, right? So about 60% of our clients who come to us are underinsured on day one. And one of the things as part of the financing we do for them is we help them update their insurance. So there are times when we'll also work with third-party insurance companies to say, hey, there is an opportunity to provide better coverage or the same amount of coverage with better pricing to these homeowners who we believe would be great homeowner partners at the end of the day. So insurance partnerships are something that we're constantly looking at. Mm -hmm. Um, We also partner with debt relief and debt payments companies, right? We have almost 70% of our customers, Louisa, who today are taking the NOAA financing and are paying down high interest debt like credit cards, like personal loans and hard money lenders. So if you are a debt relief organization or if you are a company that helps people you know, restructure their personal balance sheet, we'd love to work with you and find a way that, you know, you know, that your guidance and NOAA's capitals together can drive successful financial outcomes for everyday Americans. Yeah, I think as a homeowner and someone who isn't particularly clued up in terms of the insurance space or the debt space, being able to go to a business or platform like yours and have a vetted partner or saying, hi, you should talk to these guys or we can do this with our product. I would find that personally a better way to do it because no one, well, to be honest, people want it to all be easy, don't they? They want it on one platform. I don't want to go out to market and choose a an insurance company which hasn't been vetted or I don't quite understand what what sort of service they will provide. Now, more than ever, cash flow is an increasingly important factor for homeowners, families, especially during like times of hardship, which, you know, 2020 has been for a lot of people and businesses. What advice would you give to homeowners to relieve some of this pressure then? You know, that is, you, you, know, you know, in many ways, you know, this year, that's one of the most heartbreaking things that we've seen as a company and I've seen personally is how, say, COVID and the impact of that related with job loss and other things has really mm. impacted consumers. And, you know, I recently say, wrote about this as well, where a lot of homeowners, even if they find themselves being housage cash poor, the top advice I would have is that, there are many options beyond just, you know, selling your home or taking on high interest debt, right? We have seen customers today in the U.S. who just open up a credit card at 24% APR because it's easier to get a credit card in less than a day, right? And these are customers who are sitting on more than $100,000 of equity in their home, Mm. and they should really have access to a lower cost of capital for themselves and their families. And in many, you know, and in many cases, these homeowners are thinking either about, you know, selling their home or, you know, renting their home away because of the financial pressure and stress. But I believe, you know, selling your home or renting your home away is really that is counter to the American dream. I think the American dream and the global dream to a very large extent is having a home, having a family and living in that home mm. for as long as you want. And for these homeowners, I think, expanding their horizon and thinking in a more innovative way, the equity investment that NOAA offers and you know, other companies you mentioned as well, I think that's a great solution. Yeah. Because firstly, it's not debt. It does not sit on your credit report. It does not count towards 
your obligations on a monthly basis and it does not have a payment. On top of it, a lot of the homeowners we worked with, right, about 69% of the homeowners who've used it for debt payoff, about 30% have used it for home improvement. It really drives successful financial outcomes. It puts the homeowner back in control of their home. And I think that's the most important thing, right? You own your home. You should make decisions from a position of strength and not from a position of financial pressures. If we're looking at maybe younger couples, those yep. who are looking to get on the property ladder, which everyone wants, you know, lots of people want to get the property ladder, you know, before they're 30 or what's the next step yes. after you sort of get married. What do you think governments can do to make this process easier? Because it's not just down to the techies. Yep. <laughs> you know, I'm glad <laughs> you say that, right? So, uh, so I think like in order to improve, I think access to housing, right? At the end of the day, it is about affordability and access, right? Those are the two pillars of, you know, of any economy in credit or in housing is you have to have access to capital and you have to make it affordable for people. And in order to do this, I think what governments in the US, Europe and worldwide can really do is we need a healthy mix of product innovation and regulatory support as well. You can't place the burden firmly on the government and it's also not fair to place the burden completely on the private sector either. At NOAA as a company, we believe in product innovation, right? And that is why a core part of our philosophy is we are going to solve the underlying problem. We are going to solve the no payments, no interest problem for customers. And that's one way to do it. Mm. I think on the regulatory side, I personally am very bullish on the US, right? You know, this is where I have a lot of experience. Yeah. Is I because I saw firsthand in the 2008, 2009 financial crisis, the US government actually launched many programs to keep homeowner in their homes. You know, you know, allow me to give you an example of a few. So one was the housing and urban development of the US, which is HUD. They actually launched the home program, like HOPE, H-O-P-E. There was a down payment assistance program, and there was also a program called as Community Seconds. Each and every one of these programs actually enabled homeowners to stay in their home, to restructure their debt, like and in some ways also make equity sharing a part of the transaction where consumers could kind of delay the final payment. And my question is, if the government can do that in the aftermath of the crisis, mm. like what we need from them is the same level of innovation, the same level of support, I think for startups and ideas at a much earlier stage, right? Because what we are doing at NOAA is very similar to the Community Seconds program and the HOPE program that the government had. And what they need to do is they need to bring, you know, innovative companies into the fold, make them part of the conversation. Yeah. And at the end of the day, that will create more opportunities, I think, for both for consumers and for the government alike. And I guess this leads us on quite well to the next question, which is, fairly big question in the long term how do you see technology evolving to disrupt the home ownership and the space for the better i mean this could incorporate anything for the government obviously more homeowners more technologists more businesses yep. yes you know that really is like you know you know it is you know technology today is impacting everything and anything we do right and i have spent the past decade of my working life working at the intersection of technology, of data science and financial services. Uh, you know, and I really see these three as a unique trifecta of sorts. If you see technology and the proliferation of data into every single aspect of our lives, I think that the future of housing and housing finance is very exciting, right? You can do things today which were not possible a decade ago, you know, or even five years ago. Uh, the basic example you, you know, I'll give you is home valuations. So if you go back, say, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, it was extremely difficult to value homes because you needed appraisals and it took anywhere from 15 to 20 days to value a home. Like, but today at NOAA, one of the things we do is we have this concept of digital appraisals. So, so sitting in our office in San Francisco, we can value and inspect any home in any part of the country using a mobile app, which allows the homeowners to take photos and the results are available within hours to us. 
So that is an impact of consumer technology. It's mm. it's an impact of data science, where home valuations are now done in a matter of hours as compared to days and weeks. The impact of this is you actually can get funding in a week, you know, rather than waiting for 40 to 50 days on average. Yeah. Take. The other impact, uh, you know, I think about it is, uh, you know, I remember, you know, uh, you know, back when, you know, I had a friend applying for a mortgage, he would go home, he would print his documents, he would scan his documents. It, you know, it took him a couple of days to submit his application online. Like, but today, I think companies like Noah and others are allowing say, for digital applications, which means, you know, our customers can link bank accounts, they can link their tax forms, they can link all of the digital in information online within a matter of seconds, which means they don't have to upload documents, they don't have to scan anything. And it is that much more secure. This is also the impact of technology, which is making information sharing and information processing that much easier and faster, mm. right? You know, so these are two examples in which we use technology. I think yeah. another example we've seen is, you know, and and this is one of the blessings of COVID-19, if there was any. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know, it, it, it actually has accelerated digital showings. You can now view any home in the world just sitting from your laptop and from your phone because every single home has been mapped into a 3D tour viewing, right? You have e-notary, you have virtual tours. So I think all of these trends will make home ownership that much more affordable and that much more accessible to not just young couples, but I think, say, couples and families and individuals everywhere in the world. And I think, say, you know, this is going to be the norm of the future. You will expect to know and see everything about a house even before you walk into it. Mm -hmm. You will expect that your housing finance application takes, you know, minutes and not days. And you will expect to be approved and funded in a matter of hours and not weeks. And I think this is where, like I think say, entrepreneurship is so exciting, right? That you have these innovative ideas, these products that come in, that utilize technology, that utilize data, and then can distribute those ideas all across the globe. I think from personal experience from someone who, when I finished university, my first job was an estate agent. So basically a broker in the US from go, and now obviously I do recruitment, but from being an estate agent to also buying a property and now I'm selling a property, selling. it's mental to think how <laughs> technology has changed in the past six years and how fragmented, fragmented it is. But the huge opportunity to make it slick, simple, more cost efficient with exactly what your your product is doing. And yeah, there's so much growth that needs to happen. And I'm very excited to see how, I guess, for your product, see, hopefully it can come over here to Europe. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so you've obviously expanded across various states in the US and congratulations on that. Are there any states or areas you've seen more uptake or what sort of trends have you seen? Yes. You know, so, you know, over the past 15 months, uh, we've expanded from like our first market, which was California. And NOAA is now available in 11 different states and covers about 53% of the U.S. real estate market. I think what we've seen is the impact of being house switch and cash flow is the same across all markets. Now, in certain markets like California or Colorado or, you know, Washington, D.C., because in those markets, the cost of living is higher. Like what ends up happening is that your mortgage is more expensive, you know, everything else like included. So the degree of pain and the degree of financial pressures felt by homeowners in those markets is more than, say, you know, parts of the Midwest like Chicago or Texas or anywhere else, like for, like for example. You know, it is no coincidence that, you know, in places like say, Colorado, Washington, and California, home prices are also higher because of the natural imbalance between supply and demand of housing in these markets. So these tend to be you know, places where we have a lot of our homeowners, right? And I'll give you, you know, a story. One of our clients, you know, recently, she was a small business owner. And because of COVID-19, she was unable to qualify for a small business loan. So instead, she worked with Noah and she got access to about $50,000 of home equity. And she used that money to start her own small business. 
And to me, that is amazing because you are now seeing people think outside the box, right? The capital that we provide is not just for home purposes. It's for small businesses. It is for retirement. And I think that story is the story of every single city, every single state in this country. What's next for NOAA in 2021? What's next for NOAA in 2021? <laughs> so I think, like, I think it's more of the same, honestly. I think we are excited about, I think, what we offer people today. And, you know, our goal is that every single consumer, every single homeowner in this country would have a NOAA contract because they should adopt more innovative products. Mm -hmm. And we are excited uh, to kind of bring our product to more and more people, really. Um, you know, on the exciting side, we have a couple of other product and features planned as well, which like in the next three to six months, you'll see us rolling out to fulfill our promise of making home ownership more affordable, more accessible. And uh, uh, like in some new partnerships as well. Yeah, bro. Well, I'm looking forward to it. We are coming to the end of the podcast. Is there any bit of advice you'd like to leave our audience with and also the best way for them to connect with you and Noah? I think the best piece of advice that I, you know, that I could share is think outside the box. I think no matter what you're doing, you know, whether you're looking to buy a home, sell a home, refinance, you know, your personal life or your career, I think when you think outside the box, when you push yourself to be creative, you will often see answers and solutions that you didn't think were possible. You know, I know that's true for Noah, that's true for me personally. So that is something that I believe in. And the best way to find me is, you know, say noah.co, that's our website. And my email, I'm more than happy to kind of share it as well. You know, would love to hear from people, you know, just in the US, but all over the world. Awesome. Well, look, Tahil, thank you so much for joining us today on the PropCast and I'll catch up with you after the show. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me once again. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for joining us this week on the PropCast and a big thanks to our special guests. Make sure you visit our website, www.nmre.co.uk, where you can subscribe to our show or you'll find us on iTunes and Spotify, where all good content is found. Whilst you're at it, if you found value in the show, we'd appreciate if you could rate and review us on iTunes, or if you simply just spread the word. Be sure to tune in next Tuesday, and I'll catch you later. Hi, this is Nelson from Property Quants. I'd like to invite you to join our Introduction to Data Science and Machine Learning for Real Estate seminar. To learn more, visit propertyquants.com slash seminar and use special code LMRE20 on Eventbrite for a discount. You're listening to a podcast company podcast. This was made by Podcast Syndicator, where we help you go from start to grow to making money with your podcast. Let us help you share your message and your voice with the world. Reach out now. Jason at podcastsyndicator.com or Brett at podcastsyndicator.com to find out more. Thank you for listening and do come back to hear nothing but the best podcasts.